Welcome to XM.com. This is the Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marujos. The market mood steadied on Wednesday, having wavered on Tuesday as the Ukraine crisis unfolded, with the United States and its allies slapping sanctions on Russia for ordering troops into Ukraine's separatist regions. Although these are likely to be just the first of several waves of sanctions that the West will impose on Moscow should Russian forces enter the Ukrainian government-controlled territory, there is a growing notion that even if a war in Ukraine is inevitable, the broader economic fallout might not be so devastating after all. This could be what's lifting sentiment slightly today. U.S. stock futures are edging higher following another awful trading day on Wall Street on Tuesday. The S&P 500 fell into correction territory for the first time in two years after slumping to one-month lows, while the Nasdaq Composite and Dow Jones both logged losses of more than 1%. But global equity markets are backing the turnaround in risk appetite today. The somewhat more positive tone weighed on safe havens such as gold. The precious metal eased to around the $1,890 an ounce level and oil prices were lower too. Brent crude futures stepped back, settling near the $96 handle today. The possibility that Iranian supply could soon enter the oil market is also weighing on prices, as negotiators are reportedly inching closer to renewing the Iran nuclear agreement. The U.S. dollar remained on the back foot as the combined easing and risk aversion and doubts about how hawkish the Fed will be kept the currencies index against the basket of rivals confined within a narrow trading range. Fed policymakers have in recent days appeared undecided about the need for a big rate hike in March. Stealing the FX limelight on Wednesday were the commodity-linked currencies. The Aussie gained 0.6% despite only a modest pickup in wage growth in Australia in quarter four. The loonie was up about 0.5%, but the New Zealand dollar surged by 1% following the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's decision to raise interest rates for a third straight meeting earlier today. The RBNZ's announcement was already fully baked in by the markets, but the minutes revealed that it was a close call between 25 and 50 basis points. Moreover, policymakers now expect the official cash rate to reach 3.35%, as opposed to the previous projection of 2.6%. Thank you for watching the Daily Market Comment here at XM.com.